All right, so we are going to talk about shipping through Shopify today. So when you are on your home page in Shopify, and this is not the app that I'm using, I'm actually using the web browser, you're going to go to settings and then you're going to go to shipping and delivery. Now this is where you can change everything around. So I have standard shipping rates set up for everything and it gives customers an option to choose XYZ shipping at checkout. I base my shipping off of trusting my customers to choose the right shipping rate. It doesn't always happen, but it's rare that somebody doesn't choose the right one. So what we do here is we want to manage our rates. So manage rates is general. This is all the products that are in your store managing the shipping rates for them. So I have shipping to Canada and North America. Because I'm located in the US, I stick with USPS and discounted rates from Shopify shipping and I have it auto calculate. Now here, this is where I set up my custom rates. So for one tumbler to ship via UPS, I know that it usually costs anywhere from seven to 10.50. Really it's like $8 to 8.50. So I have it set to $9. Now, sometimes the shipping is less, sometimes the shipping is more. It kind of evens out in the end. Um, pen boxes, two tumblers, which I only like to ship my tumblers through UPS because I feel like they're more reliable and they're usually cheaper through UPS. Now, for my decals, vinyl stickers, keychains, I have those through USPS and I have the option for first class package and priority. So, first class package is typically smaller items. Um, I think it's less than a pound is when you can ship something first class package. I think there's a length um, requirement too, but I'm not sure what that is. So it usually costs anywhere from $3.20 to $3.80 to ship first class package. So I just set it out to $3.50. Nine times out of 10, it's $3.49. I don't plan on making profits on my shipping. It typically evens out in the end. I know that typically the cost of shipping for priority is anywhere from $7 to $8.50 or something along those lines. I set it as a standard to $8. Priority means it gets there in I think one to two business days and first class package is I think one to five business days. And that's the difference there. Now again, these are set rates that I did. Now I can also add a rate. So this is where you can add a rate. You can set up your own rates or use it to auto calculate. So if we set up our own rate, we can do this and just do a standard uh, amount or custom flat rate, you can change the name of it like I did in here and set a price. You can also add conditions. So you can base it on item weight or on order price. So for example, if you wanted to implement free shipping without using any of your discount codes, you could say, okay, well, everything over $75 is free shipping. So we'll say free shipping. So now instead of having to use a discount code, anyone who orders over $75 will get free shipping. And you can set this on item weight, you can do all kinds of stuff or have no options there and just have a free option or free shipping option. Now there's also a use carrier or app to calculate rates. So I don't usually use DHL Express because I don't really ship international, but they have UPS and USPS discounted rates. So some people will transfer everything to Pirate Ship, which Pirate Ship has very comparable prices to Shopify. I feel like the couple cent difference that there may be, because nine times out of 10, they're exactly the same shipping price, isn't worth me having to export every all the orders from my Shopify over to Pirate Ship. It's just not worth it in my opinion. So let's do UPS. So we have UPS, we can choose the services that we want to do. Typically we do ground, second day air is usually, you know, the ex expedient is usually the normal ones. Um, if you want to add any other ones, go right ahead. 
Um, you can add handling fees. I don't. Some people do. Completely up to you. Um, if you do USPS, then there is first class mail, package, priority. Um, so priority, first class mail, and first class package is what I use the most. I actually don't use first class mail because there is no tracking. And that means that somebody cannot use route insurance. So if their package, if their order gets lost in the mail because they chose first class mail, there's no way of finding it, there's no way of tracking it, and there's no way of knowing if they received it or not. I personally do not like using first class mail because you never know. So I personally recommend first class package or pri priority mail. Those are my top two. Um, and then again, you can also add a handling fee if you want. Now, there are also other options that you can do. You can create a new profile. And when you create a new profile, you can do, let's say, um, vinyl stickers. So what if I just wanna create a profile for vinyl stickers? So I can add products and I can go through and select all my vinyl stickers in here. So we'll just randomly choose some random ones. And then you would do create a shipping zone, which would be United States. And then once you're down here, you're going to add a rate. So again, you can set up your own rates or use carrier or app to calculate rates. And these rates will only show up for these items. So if you wanted to do free shipping on tumblers or wanted to do free shipping on your vinyl stickers, you can do that by setting up its own profile. You can also set up profiles for different countries. If you only want to be able to ship certain products to other countries. So say you want to be able to ship stickers to other countries, but you don't want to ship tumblers or shirts or something else that you have. You can set up your rates for that specific country and for those products so that they can only order and have shipped those items, if that makes sense. So once that's all done, let's talk about the actual packages. Also do local delivery, local pickup. Okay, now we're going to talk about saved packages, which I find key. If you watched my Tumblr shipping and packing video, you'll see that I had packages that were saved in size. This is where you can do that. So I have standard shipping boxes that I use for my products, and this is where I put them in. And when I weigh them, I include any freebies or anything else that is included in it so that the weight is as accurate as possible without the product weight in it, if that makes sense. <laughs> To add a package, you'll click add package. Your packaging, you would go to custom packaging and choose what it is. Anything that is in a poly mailer is considered a soft package. So let's say we're gonna do a box. It's eight by four by four. Make sure you change this item because if you're not measuring in centimeters, you're usually measuring in inches. And then here, I usually do ounces because that's what I weigh everything in. So look at, this is what I also wanna show you and how I kind of, I don't wanna say cheated my way through the process, but this is what I did to make things easier for me. So it says weight when empty. This is optional to put in there. What I do to try and get the most accurate weight possible is I weigh the box, the thank you card, the sticker, the anything that's going to go in the box without the actual product, I put that weight here. So when I do my decals, I have my thank you card, my business card, a free sticker, and the actual poly mailer. And I weighed that on the scale and whatever that weighs is what I put in here so that your individual product, once all that weight is calculated, you'll have a more accurate weight when you're getting your shipping labels together, which will make things easier for you in the end so that you don't have to do extra work. So then you can have a name, so you can just name it custom box or whatever. So when you do this, these are the packages that I have saved. I have several different size boxes 
and throughout the time that I've had everything, I kind of just started naming things, um, different names. So for example, I know that the boxes I use to put my tumblers in, I have a small and I have a medium size and they're white colored boxes. This way I know I can quickly look at the list when I'm shipping something, click it and know that that's what I need. And then I have the regular brown boxes and I have different sizes for those as well. And then I have my stay flat envelope, which is a six by six that I have put in here. And 1.7 ounces is everything included with the envelope. And then I have the white poly mailer that I put the stickers and decals in. This is a poly mailer. This is an envelope. These are boxes. So then I have large white mystery box. I just completely made that up from one of my other videos um, and saved it. This is what it looks like once it's in there and you can edit all of these products too. So in my opinion, I think having the packages in there with the weights of anything extra you put in besides the product is perfect for helping you get closer to the weight that you need and make things easier for you. Um, shipping labels, if you do have a Rolo printer or a thermal label or a label printer or anything like that, you set your sizes that you have on here. And then if you're printing on your desktop printer, you can also set up your settings for the label formats here. Um, packing slips, this is where you can edit your packing slip template, but this is a like coded one. So it's maybe a little bit more difficult. So in order to enable a third party calculated rate at checkout, you do need to upgrade your plan. And this would be the highest plan that they have, which is the, I think $2.99 a month one. So it's not really necessary because Shopify has some pretty discounted rates and I feel like their shipping is pretty reasonable and it's not worth the cost for me in comparison to what I would save if I had a account with FedEx, UPS or USPS or something. And then, um, yep, so this is basically all the shipping and settings and things like that. I hope it made sense. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and... And I will be posting as many Shopify tutorials as I can. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot of different aspects to it. So make sure you're subscribed and have your notification bells on. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.